Download display.land from the App Store. Launch the program and then start a new scan and scan your object. Here I'm doing this little doll's house. When the scanning is complete, give it a name and upload it to their servers for processing. Once that's complete, you can then view your model and from there share a link to that model which you can send to your computer. Pick up that link on your computer and open it in your web browser and on that page you can download a .obj version of the file to your local machine. Unzip the file. Download Blender from blender.org. Install it, run it, go File New, delete the default cube, and then go File, Import, and go and find your .obj file downloaded earlier. In order to tidy up your mesh, you'll want to switch to the Shading tab, and then put the object into Edit Mode. From here you can start chopping off unwanted parts of the model. With complex parts of the model, it does help to hold down Z and select wireframe, which lets you select regions more easily. Once you're happy with the mesh, click File Export to FBX and make sure to change this from Auto to Copy and tick this to embed the textures. Save the file. Next, follow the steps in this Steam VR tutorial. I'll put a link in the video description. I'll shoot through it now, but it's worth reading the whole thing. Inside Steam VR, click Workshop and then Create, Modify an Environment. Create an empty add-on, give it a name. Click Launch Tools. Then click on the Hammer icon to open the Hammer tool and go File New. Click the light bulb icon and then click in the map area to create a spawn point. Switch back to the asset browser and then open the model editor and create a new VMDL. And then go and find your .fbx file exported from Blender. Press OK here. Click browse and create a folder name for your model. Go inside and press select folder. Change collision type to use exact geometry. Everything else is fine, so press OK. Your model is now inside the asset browser. You can close that window and then drag it from the asset browser into Hammer. Now scale and move your object so that it makes sense given the fixed scale of the spawn point created earlier. Save the project and then press F9 to open the build window. Click on build. Wait a short time while it builds and then put on your VR headset. You should be able to teleport around and explore your object. Switch back to the Asset Browser and click this Steam icon in order to upload it to the workshop. You want to click Create New and then fill in the form and press Submit. Your project is uploaded to Steam and it automatically opens a workshop window where you can see it. So click Subscribe. Now if you open VR and put on your headset, you should be able to navigate to your environment using the Steam VR GUI. There's mine. There we go, we are all done.